Hello and welcome back to the channel. We'll be continuing our beginner's guide and walkthrough of Starfield. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please give the th video a thumbs up like. Uh, please leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notifications button to get updates as future videos are released. If you are subscribing to the channel because of the Starfield content, please leave a comment. Now, as we continue, we've pretty much finished exploring the spaceport, and our next stop will be the mast station. So let's go ahead and hop on transit here. And we want to go to the mast district. And we'll be looking for a Another main... day? Here she is. Let's talk to her. One day. I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? All right. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yeah, life is good, isn't it? I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. Really? Well... I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use a Terracino from Terra Brew right now. Hey, no problem. I'll get you one. And we've really? picked up another quest. That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and leave for now. See you around. Now, over to the left. <coughs> There's an elevator. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to the cabinet chambers to retrieve a magazine. So as we come out, take a left and another quick left. We're gonna go down this hallway all yes. the way to the end. What? And here on this desk, we're gonna grab another magazine. Now, while we're here, we're gonna speak to Agent Plato, so let's put that. You are, of course, welcome at any time here at Mast. Same as anyone. Just be aware that you are being monitored. No problem. The security of the United Colonies is every citizen's responsibility. But we try and do the bulk of the work. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. That's okay. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Or so you say. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. All right. Well, you're certainly entitled to that opinion, and there are plenty of others who share it. <laughs> we'll be looking out for you just the same. Well, thanks. Ah, right. 
You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Thanks, I guess. Oh, it wasn't a compliment. Just an observation. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Hey, no problem. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Normally we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. All right. Take the net to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Sure, no problem. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. All right, I'm out of here. Good luck with the mission. Eh, it's gonna be pretty easy. All right. Let's get back to the elevator. Go back out the way we came. And as we leave the NAT station, it's still dark outside. We see this great big humongous tree. in a wide variety of smuggling and theft, it has been very difficult to prove. The latest investigation hinged upon the depositions of three key eyewitnesses. But all three have recanted their testimony, leaving the investigation in shambles. All right. The heart of the subtle Another regular citizen. <clears throat> and over here, looking at the tree, we find Kelton Frush. Hey, talk to me, Kelton. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. I am not staring, I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Certainly. I'd love to help. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Hey, sure, no problem. And we pick up another quest. Here at the big tree. So just past the big tree. We can 
pick up his sensor as we some of the other buildings in the area. Do a little parkour. Come on. What? My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> Mothers, am I right? So here we have the Armistice Archives. After the UC Navy's defeat at the Battle of Cheyenne by the Freestyle Collective's ragtag fleet, both sides decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. So the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the Armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped, mechs and xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive, which actually rests below our feet as we speak. And while these new restrictions transformed the settled systems overnight, entire economies were upended with the flick of a pen. They also marked the start of something critical, cooperation between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective for the first time in decades. A pledge between the powers for a more harmonious future. Thank you for listening. Sure, no problem. This is a place for quiet reflection, so please keep chatting to a minimum. Sure, no problem. We're out of here. Let's see what we need to do. Just tell me how many zeros I need to add to the office. I'm sorry, sir, but we can't sell to you. You see citizens only. Ah, <laughs> I think I understand. And uh, the cost to put me down as a citizen would be... What exactly? Sir, bribery is a crime in the colonies. Fine. Perhaps I'll just be having a chat with your superiors then. Good day. We've got some lovely places available, if you've earned your citizenship, of course. So this is, yes, if you were to... Houses are available Never only a better to time citizens. than right now to settle down and make New Atlantis home. If you're a citizen, of course. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down, or move up in the world, or just window shopping? That's fine. It happens all the time. I never mind an opportunity to chat with someone new. I'm here if you have any more questions or if you'd like to look at properties. Okay, let me just pull up your data. Oh, oh yeah. I I'm sorry, but you're not a United Colony citizen. I'm afraid property ownership here in New Atlantis isn't available to you. If, if you take the exciting step of becoming a citizen, we'll be here for you. Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation and actively lobbying for a little more leeway. All right. So here Stop we are. Stop by any time. Yes. So this is where the real estate agents are. Everything good? We're here to help. Let's see, where's... Let's see if we can run over there and get... 
we'll get the last two in a minute. So also, let's see, I didn't want to miss this. Embassy District. So there's the realty office. It's pricey, but... And here at this structure is the Free Star Collective Embassy. No one at the reception desk. Nobody sees the ambassador without an appointment, and you don't have one. Okay. So that's it pretty much for the mast area. Yes, exactly. It's like, like... When someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, uh, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... just... love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah. Why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth, like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through... Unity. Huh. Yes, Andreas. Yes. Well, after they finish their Unity. little sermon here, we'll have a conversation. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. Sure. There are so many mysteries in the universe, so many unknowns that... Hey, don't walk away from I me. I try to help out others whenever I get the chance. Well, let's talk about that. I may not always have the perfect advice for people, but I try to just be here for them. I think that's what they really need more than anything else. Were you seeking worldly wisdom or just a friendly ear? Actually, I'm looking for quests... It would, wouldn't it? Well, if you find it, be sure to come back and let me know. It would make the next sermon more memorable, if nothing else. And in the meantime, while it isn't quite so profound, I might suggest reading some of our works. Among the Grab Jumps is a good place to start. I'm sure you can find a copy lying about. And if you do decide to read it, perhaps you'd let me know what you think. See if it speaks to you, as it has to others. That's all right. I'm sure it just escaped your memory. So many things do over time. There must be a copy around here somewhere. If you do happen to peruse it, I would enjoy hearing your thoughts on the idea. Wonderful. I really would be happy to discuss it with you sometime. All right. And then, yes, here's his church. Sanctum Universum. Get a little cutscene as we go in. You see, it's just kind of set up like a little meditation center. So we'll be back out on our way. Thank you very much.
And here we have the Gal Bank. So this makes the puts us in the commercial district. makes personal finance easy. Money, as long as you have some, should never be something to worry about handling. I do hope you're taking advantage of our remote transaction benefits. Can we speak to him well, about listen, a quest? I have a lot on my plate right now, and you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day. Now, who exactly are you? Really? Huh. You have your own ship? Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kismet, really. I have a business proposition for you that could uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, confession time. I might just be a little desperate. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. And what I need is a ringer, someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is you. You work with me, and the fee you get will be huge. Huge? Huge. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, and I'm guessing you have, the settled systems is big. Like, really big. Someone gets seriously underwater, they skip the system. And it's a real pain to track them down. Sad truth is, we can't track everyone down, so credit analysis always has a black eye when reporting to the higher-ups. Oh, well, I can tell you're eager. That's good. But we'll start small and work our way up to the worst offenders. Yes! <laughs> so, we got a galaxy class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. And Dieter Maliki jumps system. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, the job is simple. Get Dieter to pay. And we don't want him dead, we don't want him hurt. Just close his account like an honest citizen. If he dies, then his assets go to probate, and we can get paid. So if he forces you into an it's you or him situation, it's A-OK -okay for Galbank's bottom line if you choose him. But I cannot stress this enough, this is not the ideal outcome. We wanted him liquidated, and we'd have put a tracker on him. Well, you may need to lean on him, scare him. Nothing illegal, just talk to him. And don't listen to any sob stories he tells you. Any job I give you, I guarantee there's not some poor sick aunt that needs credits for surgery. These are scofflaws, scum, flagrantly violating the terms of their gal bank agreements. Well, I mean, yes. We're not the only ones looking for him. And you don't dome up on a dust ball unless you're serious about dodging your civic responsibilities. All right. I'll send over all the details. You find Dieter and bring his account current. I hate to end on this note, but, you know, not everyone's a straight arrow. You cut a deal with Dieter. Honestly, I have no way of knowing. But don't expect any more jobs from me. Best of luck. I believe in you. All right. And we can pick up a, another quest. You're from the Gal Bank. Mission. So here's some of the stores here. We have Outland. Alpha Form 
Blackhawk projections for the third straight quarter. Combined sell. Honest, I don't really care. These are just some citizens. Nothing going on there. Nothing special. So, how are you? Good. We have another UC. There's the UC distribution center. Building called Enhance. Don't be nervous. You got this. Easy for you to say. Top of the class. Infinity is huge, like staggeringly huge. They need people like you. Oh, sorry. Even we're your grades. Yeah, I'm sure a junior assistant is vital. Kiss your foot in the door. Show initiative, positive attitude, and the sky's the limit. I could see how you made head cheerleader. Go Timberwolves! Great. <laughs> so here at Welcome Infinity. to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. All visitors are by appointment only, I'm afraid. All right. Well, we don't have an appointment, so we'll keep on where we were wanting to go. Since this is Affinity, is we want to go to Enhance. Wow. You look completely different. All of our services are designed to minimize pain and maximize happiness. Hi, welcome to Enhance. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I'm sure my staff and I can accommodate your every need. If you're here to try something new or on a whim, or to replicate a look you've seen and loved elsewhere, or just want to love your reflection in the mirror a little bit more, we've got you covered. All our services and records are private and confidential, so no need to worry. So you can pay and have your looks changed. Oh my god. You certainly put things bluntly, don't you? You 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 just took me a little bit off guard. It's it's like you read my mind or something. You see, I've run into a bit of an issue, a, a teensy little issue. I may have lost a data slate containing the confidential information of numerous patients. Little things, you know, like payment, information, procedures done, age, birthdays, mailing addresses. Oh no, who am I kidding? This is so bad. If that information gets out, my business and reputation could be destroyed. No patient will trust me again. <laughs> It's not. People's private information is at stake, ready to be taken by any bad actor that finds that damn slate. And worse, my reputation and business is on the line. Please, I'm begging you. You have to find that slate. Sure. Yes. Oh, thank you. And let's see, I... I frequent the Terrebrew nearby, as well as Whetstone. I also stopped by the Valberg building recently. Thank you for doing this. You're a lifesaver. Please, come back as soon as you have the slate. Oh, and don't read anything on it. It's confidential stuff, remember? Well, we'll see. So we picked up a, another quest for If him. you'd ever like to make a change, we're up to the task. So now let's go over to... The Settled Systems News Network. Valberg building.
Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Okay, well, if I see any of those, I'll tell you. And you can tell me if you find any eggs. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. All right, so that updated our quest a little bit. You can't go in. You just can't. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Sorry, fan Mr. Girl. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all If you've seen way. something interesting, let me know. Sure. If it pans out into a full story, be you'll be compensated. Be maybe get you Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. A cog in the machine. If you mean literally, Nadia Mufaz. Head researcher of the office. So if we got any facts wrong, I'm the one who files your complaint into the shredder. <laughs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Sounds like an old pickup line. But it really has, hasn't it? I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? Looks like some Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Bad blood between the fabled Constellation and the Crimson Fleet? has all the markings of what we in the SSNN call a story. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? <laughs> we can't lie. <laughs> wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. Sure. And take this to cover any incidentals or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. All right, picked up some credits. That's great. Now she does. If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, Things are just swell. I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. I'd be willing to do that for you. Would you really? Yes. I'd owe you big time if you did. You've been a huge help on my other stories. I'm sure you'd do great. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing. 
and how things are in the well. I really can't thank you enough. Alright, we pick up another quest. Pretty easy, we'll run down to the well and work on that here in a bit. If you ever find yourself with a hot lead, we will do our best to protect your anonymity. It's important that the people of the United Colonies can trust their primary news source. All right. That's enough of that. David Barron is the most famous journalist in the settled systems. Now there is a... David's amazing. And I hear he's single. Should be... Let's see. Here's the whetstone. What's even the point of doing it that way if they're just a Valberg? And you know and let's there. run down here. Two Terra Brew. As you Chief see, Diplomat Yassine runs a tough. Uh, need a pick me up. We can do this one real quick. I think that that's nearby. But where's our... There we go. Great ship at the this Office of Interstellar Affairs. Planet. So we just need a. There are two locations in New Terrible. Hello and welcome to Terrible. Yes. I'm answering. And the sales in the need face. Hi there. Didn't welcome to Terrible. How can I help? Second store opened. Certainly. Please take your time. Times change. I believe she wanted but a. One thing's constant. Macchiato. People need coffee. Make sure I got that right. Oh, it was a cappuccino she needed. Turn it. I need to report back, but thanks for choosing. This is very Certainly. Please take your time. All right. There's no Terra Brew back home, but maybe that. get some points for discovering the commercial district. Go back to Mast real quick and deliver our coffee. Let's see, where are you? Here she is. They say they don't I have a feeling today's around. going to be a but great day. Don't you? I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony to and I leave. To the hardware. No. What if that oh, thank you so much. Soon it's I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. All right. Oh, I don't know if you've heard, but Take my care. sister started her own homestead. Wow, you must be so proud. So let's She's go back so to. Amazing. Are we still doing the. Yes. Need to get the sensor. Her only 
even though we have wandered through here already. We have Pioneer Towers. Now you kind of want to, as you come out, want to go through Pioneer Towers. And go back out to the outside deck. I might just stick with something on tap. And look on these tables. What's the fun in that? And there Remember should be the of surprise? It was a magazine a right here for us to pick up. That was one hell of a night. Lucky you. I don't remember anything after the second class. Not one bit. Best drinks in town, hands down. Oops, sorry. We can talk to him. Bleh. I said, bleh. Indeed. So you share my sentiments. I just don't understand why such a first-class restaurant can be satisfied with serving second-rate coffee. Of course, it could just be my palate. It's quite refined, which is both a blessing and curse. Funny you should ask. I recently dined with a friend of mine with ties to the Free Star Collective, and he claims the best cup of joe he's ever had was in Aquila City. Yes, although I doubted him at first, but then he showed me the proof. In his hand was a single coffee bean, fermented in the digestive tract of an alien beast. <laughs> it's not an entirely new idea. In the old world, growers used elephants. They believed the stomachs of these ancient beasts would ferment the bean and draw out its true flavor. <laughs> we could just cut to the chase. It seems that would be the case. Following this discovery, I hired a man to feed coffee beans to predators throughout the settled systems. But it seems after consuming the beans, the beast decided to make a meal of him. So, I need someone to find this beast and remove my property from its stomach. As for compensation, you'll receive 2,000 credits when the job is complete. Sure, I'll get right at it. The man I hired had a transponder on him. When the predator consumed him, it also consumed the device. Rest assured, I'll have all the information forwarded to your ship's tracking systems. Excellent. I will have the coordinates sent to your ship. All right. Picked up another quest. I trust you know the way out. Yes. <coughs> so here's another one of the sensors. Sorry. We have some other stores here. We have Jemison Mercantile. We have Chuck's. We have this little area here. So, 
What's the point? Of what? This. Is it some sort of art? A Zen garden? What? It's a communal art installation. It's supposed to look nice. I guess. But I'm just saying you could have a whole bat ball field or some food stands. Something useful. It's always something with you. Mercy. She was the way she did. You know, the ones left over Even an colony. extra day or two with her would... That would have been the blessing. My husband's never been the same since our daughter passed. Oh, the colony right. The war was pointless. It makes me shame to be a citizen of the UC. I miss my Shayla every day. I miss my daughter, too, but we've so many other things to be thankful for. There ain't no such thing as a good war. I think we're still recovering from the colony war. I think we're still recovering from the colony war. All right. There ain't no such thing as a good war. Citizens here. My partner's had a nasty cold, so I've just been taking care of Here's it. Apollo. A little more parkour. Shop CJ's open 49 hours. How's that possible? Thanks for stopping by. What brings you in? Come on in, take a look around. Nice and steady, just the way I like it. I've got a good location, plenty of foot traffic and a ton of people who are in a hurry and need to make a quick stop for the essentials. Things keep going this way, I'm going to start opening franchises all over the settled systems. You kidding me? Nowhere else like it in the settled systems. First time I came here as a kid, I knew I was going to come back and make my mark on this city. Nowhere I'd rather be. And now that I've got this place up and running, it's all coming together. No problem. Happy to serve. So you can see he's just got food and snacks, but we don't really need any of that. Thanks for stopping in. Sure, no I problem. Can always use the business. See if we can't. Get over that way somehow. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Yeah, it's all right.
Tractor. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus... A little extra. Let's oh, call it a, a convenience down? fee, shall we? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pay. We don't have our sneak ranked up yet pleasure doing business with you thanks bitch yeah what is it that you, you do mean here? besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with it's all in the name we distribute materials and products all around the united colonies never a dull moment always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for i know some people don't believe it but we really do the best we can wouldn't still be working here if i didn't care we're out of here. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. But yes, it is possible to sneak in there and steal it. We'll make our money back here pretty quick. Now, I do want to see... Where is this Ryujin Industries kiosk? There it is. Hi. Oh. I can't believe the UC just wrote us off like that. What are you talking about? They were going to give our son to a different family. We made it back just in time. We're finally back with our son, and that's all that matters. Oh, yeah, this kid, remember this kid? Missed our Bobby so much. We barely. Hey, it's you again. Yes. You too. These are my parents. I told everyone they just got on a different shuttle, but nobody would listen. We're just exploring New Atlantis. We have a new apartment. This place is amazing. Anyway, it was nice to see you again. Maybe I'll see you around. And don't forget my birthday. It's June 11th. I haven't forgot. We're finally He's quite back something, with our, son, our Bobby, that's isn't all that he? Matters. Yeah, so he is Bobby quite mentioned something. he met you. He's had quite the adventure. All right. corporate skills Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today for let's apply for this job yeah so ne next time we're in neon we can Report to our future tomorrow. Submit your application now. 
All right, let's go back to our tree goes in Atlantis quest. Deliver these sensors. With the nearest kiosk. Aquilus has seen so much. I'm really glad I can talk to him when I need to. Even just the sound of his voice is comforting, I guess. Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. Aquilus has helped me through some tough times lately. Even just the sound of his voice is comforting, I guess. Hey, howdy. Hey, Terrence. How's it going? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Where are you, Mr. Tech? In the process. Wouldn't want to withhold oh. chance. Working at the embassies is always a nightmare, but you can't beat the pay rate. If you have a maintenance request, just get it in the system. We'll be there eventually. Unless you have embassy business, I suggest you move along. Alright. Uh, you see Stalin on purpose. I can feel it. Always something to fix in New Atlantis. <laughs> Never fails to remind you it's one of the oldest cities in the galaxy. All right. Now, back to the big tree. but I really do need those sensors, and quickly. Really? How about this? I appreciate your assistance, but I still need all of those sensors. I get your so sensors. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And... Just another moment. Okay. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. Oh, let's talk. Hey, don't run from me. We have to talk about some more stuff. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Yes, thank you. Plus the XP. That's great. So we'll check on him later. 
Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. Alright, so... We will check on him later. Let's go retrieve the package. We're in here dropping this off. We'll pick up another magazine. Cutscenes are running a little longer than usual. How's the investigation going? Still have questions? Go ahead and ask. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? <laughs> As am I. And the best part is, since you're all part-timers, there's no paperwork. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Great. While we're here, though... can go back here, open this door, and see these cells. Maybe. I have nothing to say. Really? I desire no company. Leave. The Great Serpent called me to fight the unbelievers in the United Colonies. But I was ambushed, and my ship disabled. Now, I am here. I am a prisoner, trapped by a weak people who do not kill their enemies when they should. All right. But here, at the very end on the left, if you look underneath this bed, you can find this right here, which will help your sneak bonus. All right. Something to report? Oh. Don't want to... Let's go back out the front here. And we can come back and get some more quests once we join the UC. Ah! If it isn't my favorite part-time security officer. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. So let's see about this one. Yeah, we all got friends who need things. But we've also got rules and regulations, and I'm not going to bend them. Your friend can file a request like everyone else. But she did. I've got nothing at the moment, but come back later, and I might have something for you. Uh, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could your job be? Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. All right, that's enough of that. Let me know if you have any questions. Sure. So we'll go ahead and exit. Hopefully this cutscene doesn't take too long. 
Now, while we are here in the spaceport, just one quiet day. Just past our ship here. Here's the storage areas. So let's go ahead and now one of the things that we can do is go down into the well seems like a pretty good because we need to go down to the well to speak to these people it's going to be someplace else somewhere else we should probably we'll do that in a minute we'll come back for that one for now Sorry, yeah. This will take us to the elevator that I showed you at the beginning of the last episode. You will be scanned as you enter the city. If you go up here. Here is the elevator for the well, and we'll go ahead and call it a video here, and we'll investigate the well at the beginning of our next video, and that should help us pretty much complete all of the quests that are available here at New Atlantis. Thanks for following along. Again, please leave likes, comments, anything I might have missed, you can point that out. Uh, it would be helpful not only to me, but to other viewers. And thanks again for watching.